This morning, Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic convened a meeting with the chiefs of all parliamentary political party groups to discuss whether or not arbitration with Slovenia over the disputed maritime border between the two countries should be dissolved immediately or gradually. The Prime Minister is putting forth his own proposals that will be presented to Parliament, which will hold an emergency session on Wednesday to debate the matter. The government hopes to reach a consensus among all parties on the decision, a stance that was shared yesterday by Croatian President Kolinda Grabar Kitarovic and several political party leaders leaders from both the opposition and members of the governing coalition. On Sunday, Slovenian Foreign Minister Karl Erjavec said he is prepared to tender his resignation if such a move is dictated by the ongoing scandal surrounding the maritime border arbitration procedure with Croatia. Erjavec is the first Slovenian official to indirectly acknowledge the authenticity of the controversial conversation reported by the Croatian media, in which a Slovenian delegate to the tribunal and the Slovenian arbiter in that same tribunal apparently agree on its verdict in advance. In news from the wider region, the Serbian National Wire Agency Tanyug reported that an Afghani citizen was apparently killed early this morning when a fight broke out among migrants in Bachki Vinogradi near the Serbian-Hungarian border. According to the as-yet-unconfirmed reports, a group of five migrants wielding knives were involved in the altercation. There are numerous migrants, mainly from the Middle East and North Africa in northern Serbia, attempting to cross the Hungarian border into the European Union. By-elections for a new mayor were held in the small Dalmatian town of Vrgorac on Sunday, and according to the first unofficial results, the Croatian Democratic Union's candidate, Rudolf Grljušić, won. However, his opponent, Ante Pranić, from the independent youth slate, is contesting the results and demanding a recount because of the slim eight-vote margin and the high number of invalid ballots. Otherwise, at 70 percent, voter turnout for these elections was quite high. The documentary Salma by renowned British filmmaker Kim Longinetto was screened at this year's Motovun Film Festival. The film's subject, writer and human rights activist Salma Rajati, attended the festival and spoke to Croatian television's reporter about her own struggles to be a writer in a Muslim society that looks down upon such activity for women and her efforts to show the way to other women suffering under the same restraints. In sports, in tennis, Austria's Dominic Thiem is the winner of the 26th Croatia Open. He defeated Portugal's João Sousa in Sunday night's final in two sets, 6-4, 6-1 in only one hour. The trophy was presented to the tournament's champion by the Croatian president, who attended the final match. At the water polo world championship being held in Russia, the Croatian national team won its first match against Canada with a score of 12-7. The Croatian team next faces off against Brazil on Wednesday. And finally, the weather forecast for the rest of the day. Inland regions can expect scattered rainfall and even heavier showers at places. Skies will be partly to mostly sunny on the coast, although gathering clouds in the Dalmatian interior and the northern coast will raise the chances for occasional showers there as well. Light to moderate southwesterly and westerly winds will blow on the coast, with southeasterly winds at places. Bora winds will pick up in the north tonight. The sea surface will be slightly to moderately wavy. Today's temperatures will generally range from 22 to 28 degrees Celsius inland and from 29 to 34 degrees on the coast. Skies will be at least partially clear and sunny inland over the next two days. Some moderate cloud buildup will bring a slight chance of showers on Tuesday, mainly at the higher elevations. Temperatures will rise gradually. Thunder showers are expected on Wednesday night and the unstable conditions will persist into Thursday. Skies will be partly to mostly clear and sunny on the coast in the coming days. Localized showers are mainly expected in the north tomorrow and at day's end on Wednesday.